Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you who haven't heard about this story about the comic book store owner and the trans activists in Washington, let me do a quick recap before I show you the clip. So we have this elderly comic book store owner who got into a fight with a transgender person because he's got a sign outside of his business that says, if you're born with a dick, you're not a chick. I want to live it. Trans women are Just women. don't live it around me. Trans women are oh, women. Christ. Jesus Christ, man, get a clue. Trans women get are up. women! Get a fucking... Trans women are women! Do you know nobody can punch your ass? Trans because women you know are what? women! They're afraid they're gonna hurt your fucking Trans feelings. women <laughs> are women! I don't care. I hope so. Good. Okay. Thank you. You're gonna lose my business completely. All right, I hope so. Yeah. Because this is bullshit. Nobody confronts it. There's nothing wrong with her. She's not doing anything. She's minding her own Look, business. Look, I have a sign in the store that says, if you're born with a dick, you're not a chick. And he's got a dick. I'm not How a could that possibly be Stop misgendering me. Great stuff. I mean, it's factually and biologically true. We've seen a lot of these big roid raging types that are trying to look like women and are just not passing at all. And when people don't play along with these clearly dudes who aren't passing as women, you get these insane outbursts. I mean, remember when Ben Shapiro went on CNN to talk about this topic and the dude literally threatened him live on the air. I mean, clearly he felt very emboldened and allowed to do that in the current society. What you're talking about you're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics or well, not? Well, no, what no. are your genetics, sir? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. But I just find it very ironic that this guy wants this old guy to acknowledge him as a woman, which he shouldn't have to do. He shouldn't be forced to do that, especially when you don't look at all like a woman. You look like an insane dude. But he keeps repeating uh, that trans women are women and I'm living the life the way I want to live it. It's like, fine, fine. And th that seems to be the big disconnect here. Live your life the way you want to live it. I don't think uh, that most people really care. There's probably a small fringe that actually care, but most of us just live your life. That's all we want to do. We just want to be left alone. And if that's the way you want to live, then go for it. But the problem is, is uh, they're trying to get people to trying to force them uh, or co coerce them in one way or another to play along in the delusion and that's the issue. I just think it's a real bad sign of our society and our culture right now where I mean you see this complete stranger get involved you know because uh, it's a virtue thing. She was, That was total virtue signaling. She had no idea what was going on, but yet she just immediately took the side of the trans dude because he's sitting there, you know, throwing a bunch of accusations. And that's all you have to do is call somebody a bigot or any of these list of word grenades that the left has, and that's supposed to suddenly discredit you. And then you have all these people that, you know, are very, are, are very quick to jump on the side of that. One, because they want to be on the path of least resistance. And two, it's, it's a virtue signaling. They're signaling out to everybody that I'm one of the good ones. So that brings us to this reporter interviewing this comic book store owner about his altercation with this transgender person. And I just love his response to the reporter because when all it's said and done, he's just an old guy. He's this 78 year old guy just trying to run his business. Why should he care about any of this? Like, why does he have to play along with these delusions? Some people think it's hurtful. Well, he told us that this hurt. But here's the thing. I don't give a about feelings anymore. I'm 70. M8. I went to Vietnam to fight for all this. Do you think I care about some feelings? Absolutely not. <laughs> so I love how the reporter, his question to him is that some people feel hurt by this, so why do you do it? I, I always love that reasoning because the media never takes into consideration uh, whose feelings they're hurting when they're attacking and maligning and demonizing all their political opposition on the right. And they certainly don't care about this elderly old man who's probably going to have a bunch of Antifa commie mobs showing up to his store to destroy it and possibly hurt him. All right, that's it for that one. I don't really know what else to say about it. Just a crazy situation. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comment section. Have a great Friday.